feel. Look, gotcha, bitch. platform. I'm not a nigga that you could cap on. Get drawn. Black on my ops and leave they back on. Get strong. Metal Gear Solid and it is that long. Mask on. I'm a street fighter. Just call me Capcom. I take bitch. Was a bloodhound way before Apex. Warzone. Residence evil, but I'ma say less. Bang sets. League of some legends, man. I just can't rest. God war. I go Kronos and get my chains back. Don't cut me off. Just cut me back. You can see me on the platform Danny boy gave me something I could snap on It's that new sh- Go and cut that gamer It's got the Switzerland coffee Which is super freaking good Yeah Super freaking good The donut shop I don't know if you ever heard of him Super good Donut shop I've is had that right. Donut shop okay I, I lean more towards darker coffee So I definitely like the Colombian, and I definitely, yeah. definitely like the Jamaican beans. They're so Ooh, rich. The Jamaican bean is so good. It's mm. smooth. You wouldn't think a dark coffee like that would be that smooth. Yeah, yeah. The Jamaican one is dope. Velvety. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to <laughs> the platform, episode two forty six. We are talking today. Pokemon, the new Pokemon game is out in the wild. Some of us have played it on the panel. We'll give our impressions of that. Also, Ubisoft thinks we are fucking stupid. (laughs) Uh, So we'll talk about that. We'll also take a peek at the final trailer for Uncharted. So we're going to take a peek at that and see if it finally can convince us that this shit is going to work out. And (laughs) Call of Duty. Uh, Activision has said that they wanted the next three games to come out on PlayStation. Uh, so it's kind of scary out there for a lot of you guys. So, uh, hence the Crash Bandicoot behind me with Halo gear. Um, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a little, it's a little skeevy out there for a lot of folks. And I, I hope there's enough copium to go around. So we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Uh, first things first, let's get into our introductions. No particular order. Starting with Brendan, the whole man. Oh, what up, Brendan? What's going on, bro? <laughs> Doing pretty good. You know, uh, still... Trying to promote, you know, Thunder Crisis here. You want it to happen, see, but... You, you, it's not going to happen, dude. No matter how long <laughs> but, you have that motherfucker up. <laughs> but I, uh... You promote your OnlyFans. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Pearl, and I just started, you know, yesterday. Pokemon, you know, the new Pokemon game. Loving it. Loving what they did with this. Have you been, uh, flicking the Pearl? <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, welcome, Brandon. Welcome, man. <laughs> Next up, we wow. got a Big Mike, <laughs> a.k.a. Thick Mike, a.k.a. What the Velasco Failure. What up, man? What's going on, bro? What up? What up? What up? You all right, man? You was eating, like, raw meat with cheese on it earlier. Meat, 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 I've never beer. seen a, bu- a burger that was bloody. It wasn't bloody. Dude, that plate looked like Dexter, dude. What are you talking about, <laughs> man? <laughs> dude, that shit looked... Yeah. Yeah. It was delicious. It was delicious. I mean, you may not like your cooking, but I like my medium. I like my burgers medium rare. You said I may not like my cooking. I'm fat, dude. I love my <laughs> cooking. What you talking about? I said you may not like my cooking. No, I would be skinny than a bitch fucking with you, dude. <laughs> For real, man. I'd be a tiny ass dude, man. He'd be like, damn, man, you so skinny, your nipples touch, bro. <laughs> uh, anyway, welcome, Big Mike. <laughs> Next up, oh, we got a bad a Bella, a.k.a. the Bella Body Snatcher. What up? Oh, what up, Bella? <laughs> she, 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 co- she collected bodies, piling them in a the corner. As they rage quit. What's up, Bella? What's going on? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Yep. I just, I've been playing fucking... Gosh. I've been playing Life is Strange True Colors this week, actually. I started that this week. It's a okay. sad-ass game. Depression. Sad. So uh, I've been buffing that with Val. So I can keep my mental 
and not just be walking around here like like I want to listen to like sad songs and shit because like that game is hella depressing. Uh, <laughs> check it out if you like story based games, y'all, because it's actually a pretty good game. I but, started um, it. I'm on chapter yeah. three. So Bella, you okay, got you get so you, you got it. Around the top point where I'm at then. Bella, you got emotional damage. <laughs> that first episode really fucked me up. Cause like I have a soft spot, right? And my soft spot is my brother. And I'm just like, bitch, I swear <laughs> I'm being targeted. It was just like with the the first um the first what is that the Walking Dead game mm -hmm. when he oh, had yeah. to get the key off his dead brother as a zombie. I'm like. Why is it always the brother? <laughs> why? Please give me a break. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know why they went there. You know, that's definitely a dark spot right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How, how many Especially people? for me. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. But uh, it's still a beautiful game, right? It's still beautiful. Yeah, it's right? pretty. Beautiful. Nice. Love it. Love all the characters so far. Um, yeah. Really, they spent a lot of time in the details. Like the the skin textures are beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a um, I think the Gabe, which was the brother, his girlfriend who's Dominican, gorgeous. Like the, the skin textures, it's just look. She's like, oh, usually, oh, it's man. Just, it's, usually it's just like matte or just shiny, mm -hmm. and it's just like right. one. Yeah, no, it's perfect. It's it's beautiful. They did a lot of. You could tell they really cared about the product they were making. So. That's I watched good. Thing Mike play. It looked good. Yeah. Yeah, but so you must have watched nothing. Break. Right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, welcome, Bella. Welcome. Uh, we got a Wesley Pipes, aka Dave D, aka Real Fathers, Real Men. <laughs> what up? Oh, what up, Dave D? What's going on, bro? <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, I've been playing a uh, Damon X Machina. That's mm -hmm. what I've been getting for my time in. Uh, when, when I had joined Bella's stream, when she was doing the Life is Strange, I told her to download it because she might like it. It's got big, mech, you know, it's a mech RPG. Mm -hmm. uh, and the black folks' physics is an A-. minus. So it is an A-. Like, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Bad. <laughs> yeah, black folks' physics is not bad. But uh, that's what that's what's kind of been consuming. And me and Danny did play Icarus uh, a little bit. Okay. So. All right, all right, all right. David, where's your fucking camera, bitch? I'm gonna be on just. I'm gonna be on just a sec. I gotta. I gotta shave real quick. Give me just a sec. I'm looking like rough oh. as Brandon. So oh shit! Wow, wow, the shade is real in this bitch. Don't be mad because mine connects. Oh, oh shit! I'm oh my listen, god! Brandon, Emotional exactly, damage. That's exactly. Listen, it is. That's exactly why I'm hating. That's exactly why I'm hating. Oh, shit, appreciate that, host Big Mike. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my shit disconnects. Oh shit, that's hilarious, man. But you'll be all right, David. You'll be okay, dog. I wonder, if, I wonder how many people right now across America are just going around going emotional damage. <laughs> well, I mean that's what it is, right? America is emotional damage right now. But that's Literally. that's a whole different podcast. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that, that guy must be like, I did it. I made people love it. He's like, right. I'm getting that TikTok bread. You know what I'm saying? I feel him. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, welcome, David. Welcome, bitch. All right, well, what's <laughs> going on, everybody? I'm Dan the Man. I'm the host here at the platform. Uh, and I have been playing Pokemon as well, but I've been playing it better than most people. Hashtag PC. Uh, I've also uh, been playing some Icarus. I played some Kingdoms of Atham. Uh, I've played God of War. I put in, I put in time in God of War. And... Um, there's a couple of other games I play. Oh, this stupid ass fucking game called Thugs Never Die. That <laughs> shit is. I got it like, for Keymailer to cover. It. It's stupid. It's like if Grand Theft Auto had like a head contusion and then came out. <laughs> you know, like it's. I don't know what it is. It's like. I think some people just should not make games. And yeah. this, this game is super tragic. So I've been playing that, um, and then on my phone, because uh, they say gamers don't game on their phone, but that's shit trash. Uh, <laughs> I've been playing this game called Ace. It's like a RPG, basically pay us to get more characters type game. 
Um, how much do you spend? Okay. I, I haven't spent I, whatever. I haven't spent anything yet. Uh-huh. And then, uh-huh. uh, <laughs> yeah, anything yet. <laughs> you're like, you're like, you're like, and, and then I play in this one game. Uh, it is it's definitely embarrassing, but fuck it, I'm gonna say it. Uh, rail match. So it's a match three. I oh should I should be over fifty playing it on your phone type game. So it, 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 it's one of those games where you, you're watching the you know like those info things where like you're flipping through the phone and they show you and you get mad and you go I can do this. No, but I do got two of those on my phone. Oh, they're, they're, I do, Why? I do, I do, but I didn't want to say it. Uh, <laughs> you know, but I do have those ones. It's like, can you beat this guy? And no, then no, like no, when you no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I downloaded one and deleted it called Ebony. Yeah, Ebony, dude, that's a lie, dude. Ebony's like it's the most lies. It's, it's the lie. It not- seems like you do the pull the pin because you know the dude who does it in the commercial is so fucking stupid. Yeah. And I was like, man, I need to do this shit. It just irritated me. I downloaded the shit is like a damn building management game. It literally, it, it literally has like 10 seconds of the pull the pin, which is the easiest pull the pins in history. But then the rest of the game is all just building management. That shit is garbage. That's yeah. how they got me in Homescape. Uh, Homescape is like, you're supposed to be like, trying to fix the house and it's all matching. Like, yeah, matching it's back match three. Game. Yep, match yeah. three for Homescape. But I, you know what? I saw that in the mm-hmm. uh, app store and I saw it already match three. So I already knew before that, that ad popped up. But when I saw the ad, I'm like, wait a minute. None of that stuff's in the game. Like you don't pull furniture and set it like the Sims and shit. Yeah. It's not like that. You just basically match three. You get stars. Then once you get enough yeah. stars, you can put a chair in there. Like it's yeah. not, it's absolute. Oh God, that yeah. sounds awful. <laughs> Bella, it is so garbage. Uh, <laughs> it's so trash. And it's like. 52 puzzles for one star to put a chair yes. in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cuz you got to fill the bar to get a star. And then once you get a star, you fail really far. So there it is. Uh <laughs> right. Let's get into our topics here. So yeah, Pokémon is out in the wild. Motherfuckers is playing it. People uh-huh. are reviewing it. We have played it on the panel here. Three of us have. I don't know if Bella, you've played it yet, uh, no. or David. I don't know if you played it yet either. But uh, nope, nope, nope. So nope. yeah. So outside, you know, when you look at at the reviews for Pokemon, it is it's almost like a fifty fifty thing. Like it's it's like people love the changes, but the graphics suck. And you know what? I... I'm going to be honest, I think I have that same sentiment, because I put in hella time right. in fucking Arceus. I don't know how much how much you guys played, uh, but, let me, I, but let me start with you, Brandon, since you, you got something to say. What, what, what do you think, man? Because how, how many hours do you have in it, and like, what do you think about the overall presentation of Pokemon Legends? Right now, I don't know, you know, like, with the whole, you know, graph style you're talking about, like, I think it looks, you know, great. You know, I, I love the changes. I love how, you know... You don't have to have that little like bar that goes like fight bag run items you know and that stuff it's it's like an open world you have you know your side quests you can actually throw a ball your ball and you actually throw your pokemon out to fight which is amazing like that is a whole like wow like i can just like throw one of my pokemon out and it, we start fighting like you know, like this motherfucker hype and shit that he could do some shit that should have been done in 2010. Yeah. I get it, man. I get it. And <laughs> I, I was shocked that there was. A what up, Hunter? <laughs> I didn't think there was. Gonna, since this was like a prequel, I didn't think there was going to be a professor, which. It is. It is. And, and Spoiler. If you, yeah, sorry. <laughs> there, there's like different things I, I like about this. It's just like, it's, you know, you can just go and walk and. You can crouch behind the like the bushes and try to catch Pokemon. You can like just fight them to lower the health, catch them, and like this. Actually, I I, I want Pokemon to be like this style from now on. Hmm. Okay. Take my, take my shit. I uh, see. Oh well, what about Big Mike? <laughs> what what, what, what <laughs> say you, what bitch? Like what shit? say you, man? What you think, man? Like, cause I know you put in time. You're like what? Like how many stars you got so far? Cause you've already got- evolved, right? And everything. I've got two. I got two stars. I've evolved three Pokemon. I've taken on uh, like 
the first big monster and beat him. I got so, 15 hours in. So uh, okay, so you got a good chunk uh, of it. So what do you think, you man? Like, like, what, what, what is your overall thought process on what Pokemon, the new Pokemon, is presented? I'm loving it. I like the art style. Uh, I like, you know, the big open world aspect of it. I like how it, like, you can battle. Uh, you have the option you can actually run around while you're battling with your little avatar. Your, you know what your little human dude is. I thought that was pretty That's fucking dope. cool. Yeah, I was like, man, you could, like get behind that Pokemon like you're battling and give him a swift, like a swift kick in the air. That'd be fucking funny. They, they had like the kick option. Just, I wish I could. I thought of that same thing too. I was like, yeah, I just want to give him a swift kick in the ass, man. And, and like, like I do want to feel. I just want to kick Pikachu in the back. You said what? You said what? Can you create your character, or do it? Was it just? The well, black folks' physics is at zero percent, so so just keep that in mind. You know, it's cartoonish, but yes, you can create your character. You can't really create. You can pick. Yeah, a right. character that represents yeah. none of you. What up? What up, King? I see you. What up, King? That's, that's <laughs> there's, 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 right, Bella. Like you already know. Like, is there's no represent? Yeah. Not even white people though. Like, it doesn't represent right. anybody. Like, it's so trash. So, uh, yeah. it's, it's pretty general. It is. Honestly. It's like Asian kid. Like literally. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like the side quests on it. Uh, like I said, I'm liking the whole story concept of it i i think it's a great game okay all right you know what i when i was playing it i was thinking to myself man i love the changes right i really do love the changes. i love that you can be so interactive within the the pokemon space because you know it used to be you just kind of see your character on the top view then you yeah. you touch a, a, a pokemon and then there's a battle that's turn-based Really, nothing changes outside of the static images, right? There's right. really not really any animations, hardly, except some of the power animations. And that's how Pokemon is generally is. Um, but, you know, yeah. I love that it's hard, too. Because yes. uh, th th this Pokemon game is not easy. It's not like the last past entries. This is Pokemon Souls. This is not, yeah, this is Poke Souls, man. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, because I'm telling you, man, because, like, <laughs> those, those alpha Pokemon, like, they're just there's things in the game. There's, like, alpha Pokemon that are, like, bigger and fucking more fucked up than a regular Pokemon. Ooh. You have to kind of fight them. And no it's, it's literally Dark Souls, man. Like, yes. it's, like no lie, I, I was playing that uh, yesterday. And by accident, I was like, I'm like level, I was like level 10 at the time. Mm -hmm. And I ran, and I ran into a, uh, that. There's a pony tie? No, I, I, I got one, I got one of those, but I ran into the, one of the alpha ones of, uh, like the insect one or what? Oh yeah, fuck called? that shit, dude. The giant, the giant yeah, one, dude. like, dude, he was level 30. I was like, skate, skate, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> what up, bros? And I see you said, I'm here. <laughs> he fucking wrecked me. He's like, you ain't going anywhere, bitch. He goes, you out. <laughs> Dude, I got wrecked by Pony Tie. I was like, damn, is it pity time on the rippy tie? Like, I was fucking... I, I turned it out. I got wrecked. Uh, Frozen said, I'm here, and Danny don't want no smoke in yeah. a battle. Is he remember Tim Tim and wait, Brandon plays games? What the fuck? Yeah. I know. Uh, well, hold on. First of all, you don't want it in Tim Tim, no. So let's keep that for real. Uh, yeah. And then now Pokemon, I'm playing on hashtag PC, so <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if we can hashtag Booty yeah. Tang, uh, but uh, um, <laughs> I, 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 I'm playing on PC, man. So I don't know if we can play, dude. I, yeah. I don't think we can play together, bro. But you need his friend code, and you can't do friend codes. I don't think I'm. Sw um, you know, yeah, you know right. Don't, don't <laughs> talk too much. Don't say it too much. What uh, you saying? I, that's what I said. To you. <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm playing at 4K 60 FPS right now, so wow. Um, well, oh, there is no online battles and legends. Okay, so it don't matter anyway. Okay, great. There's trading though. Oh there's yeah, there's trading. Tra but see, trading is already well. I'm my version's unlocked, but we'll see, talk about that. right. Uh, he said, "I'm just saying for the future." Oh well, future. Uh, you know, you could always come and get it. And like I said, hashtag, <laughs> hashtag Tim Tim. You can get these turn-based battles too, man, if you want some Tim Tim. Everybody always want Tim Tim, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to lick it before you stick it, bro. 
another, uh, thing I would like to, another thing I would like to add, though, is I would like to see them, you know, with, with, with what they added and what they can do with this game. I want to see this, like, in, like, future Pokemon games. Oh, oh so absolutely. Look. Absolutely. I think that the, the battles, the play style, the openness of it, it has to go down like this in future entries. Uh, but, but I do have one huge issue with, with Arceus, though. And it's I only have one issue. I, I literally love the, the pacing and everything about Arceus, but I got one major problem. What's that? What's and that, that Arceus is one ugly son of a bitch, man. Oh, uh, man, especially when you blow it up like in 4K and you can truly see how bad it really is. Oh, oh God, man. Like... I, I don't even understand how did we get here, because we got Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, which is gigantic, open, and, and textures and stuff looks beautiful in that game. Um, but then you look at this one, and it's not even as open as Legend of Zelda. Hell, there's zones. It's not even an open world. It's just open zones. So I don't even understand how we got here. But um, it's ugly as piss, man. There, there's just some textures that is just unacceptable, dog. And I looked at a lot of side. There was a lot of side by side shots on Twitter too of like, this is Breath of the Wild, and this is what the open world looks like. And man, the game I'm making looks is shitting on this, so I don't even no. understand it. Like, and I, my shit is shit tier, and it's shitting on that. No, I don't want to. Uh... I wouldn't compare it to Breath of the Wild. Like this no, is, it's not even. It doesn't. It does. It's not up to snuff with Breath of the Wild at all. As far as open world, graphic, no, it's not. Wise. Yeah, no. They probably two is what two probably different people that made the game. Yeah, well, 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 you got, well, you got, yeah. well, you got no. Nintendo's personal team made Legend of Zelda, and then you have Game Freak who made Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, Milky, I see you, Milky. What up? What up? Appreciate that sub. So, um, maybe in the next game, you know, it might get better. But right now, I'm loving it on the Switch. Like, I'm loving everything that I'm seeing. Well, uh, before we get into that, Milky, we're doing a new thing here. So since you subbed, you get to make me do some dumb shit. Uh, so uh, you can have me do whatever. It's up to you. Hold on. Wait, uh, make him take his shirt off. Come on now, man. Please don't. <laughs> hey, you said it! I, I just opened the door. You but, said it. I, come I, on, I, man. I so what, happens, what happens if you gift a sub? Uh, well, same yeah, shit. Same, you know what I'm it's saying? Same shit. Yeah, same shit. You get, you get to choose it because, I mean, you gifted it. Yeah, but shout, out, shout out Milk Game. Make sure you check her out. She's a fucking <laughs> bleeding romantic when it comes to Street Fighter, so don't expect anything less. Right. Uh, he says, sing the Pokemon theme song. There you go. Oh, oh, oh shit. shit. He's a huge Pokemon fan, and I will judge you. Oh, oh shit. Yes, about that. He's a Pokemon fan. How about that? We got to be interesting. You got to sing the Pokemon song, and you can't. Mess it up and we'll, let, and we'll let Bella judge you. If you fail, you know, you gotta. I know every word. You gotta do another punishment. I've seen it that a thousand times. <laughs> no shit. Here we I'm go. Milky said, Milky said, Bella is my And after that, I'll read, I'll read Frozen highlighted comment that he has. All right, let me do this. Don't you be, don't you be putting up the words now. Don't you be putting up the words. Yeah, you gotta put up the him. words at least. You gotta no, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta no, don't. Don't say she has to put words. Yeah, how are you not? You like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me hold on. I, I, now y'all, y'all not gonna be able to hear the music, but I got the music going too. So. That's right. Uh, y'all not gonna be able to hear it. So. Hundred years old, man. We forgot the lyrics. Yeah, yeah, I forgot the fucking lyrics. Uh, fuck you, Milky. Damn. All right, here we go. Oh, here we go. Appreciate you though, Milky, for real. Here we go. He's yeah, he's he's trying to find a word while he's talking. I mean, the very best. Like no one ever was. Catch them is my real test. To train them is my cause. Titty man. All right, there we go. There we go. Was a big That was a big 
On TikTok, they got the Titty Mon shit, and I've been they've been doing that. So, and that's actually a real song, and I'm not even bullshitting with you. No, that's a terrible parody. <laughs> it is a definitely terrible parody. That shit is garbage, That shit is garbage. And you know you gotta do that. You failed, so better say you failed. All right, since I failed, I lose a life, uh, so I'll take oh, it away. Shit. And what's up to Milky? Shit. Actually, Milky uh, decides if I failed or not. She probably think I failed. No, we, we let Bella be the judge. Yeah, Bella's got to be the judge. All right, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's my life. I lost my life. Milky gonna say you failed too. Milky gonna say you failed. I lost my life, but all right. All right, real quick. Uh, <laughs> said this game is a. Preparation for Generation 9 of Pokemon with a new gen. Remember, I said it here first. You know what? I believe that. And I, I, I think I think Game Freak is in the right direction as far as where they're taking Pokemon. Um, because they have to remember there's a lot of older fans. And I appreciate the difficulty spikes in it. Um, because honestly, I was expecting it to just be some easy ass... You know, open world bullshit. Like you just run around and it's like you just throw Pokeballs and that's it and shit. Yeah, like Pokemon Snap with a third person. I was gonna say this is not Pokemon Snap. No, no. Oh hell no. This one is like fuck you. This is ten times. This is ten times better than Pokemon Snap. Oh for sure. It's probably one of the best like systems in the in a Pokemon game. I love the systems in it. The battle systems. Uh, the way that you traverse the environments, uh, the mounts, uh, you know, has seeing the Pokemon in the world exist as you try to approach them, either fighting or trying to capture them. And it's definitely more like the anime. Uh, it definitely leans towards like, you know, it's like that anime freedom. So I do appreciate that, but it is one ugly son of a bitch. Though. I don't think it's ugly. I don't think uh, it's ugly. It is yeah. ugly as fuck. And I get your love for it. But it it's is not, it's ugly as love, shit, I, I just man. don't see what, what you you're seeing it, right? dude. The, when you when you when you're when you're looking over a mountain, right, and you're looking at the vista. First of all, the vista doesn't even load in, and all you see is these trees in the distance, and it's <laughs> like, and the, the trees are ugly as shit. An another thing too is if you look at Pokemon, no, when you look at Pokemon in the distance. And you see, like, you see a flying Pokemon in the distance. It is like the frame rates on them drop to fucking, I'm telling you. Like, you'll look at them and they look like they're, like, stop motion animation, like, in the oh, background. Like, I, I, I still think you got a broken. <laughs> no, dude. And I can prove that, dude, because it is ugly as shit, dude. It is. But that doesn't, you know, I feel like that doesn't take away from what Game Freak is trying to do. And I do appreciate them taking the series to its next level because it's been it's been static for a long time, and Pokemon has been really not innovating in anything. And I get it; they make money without innovation, but they had to. It just had to, and this game proves that they can do that. What do you think about the crafting situation, Danny and Brandon? Oh, I like I like that the crafting. The Yes. I love, oh, I love it because that's like it's like survival game stuff. You know, I yes. love survival games. So being able to like instead of spending cash on Pokeballs, I could just make them. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah that's great. That's wonderful. That shit's got to be in everything now. I can't. Yeah. I don't want to fucking go to the Poke Mart to spend like, fifteen thousand dollars on sixteen Ultra Balls. <laughs> you know like, what I'm like saying? Been, Get the fuck out of here. Playing, like I've been playing Pearl, and you had to go to the market to get your Poke Balls. Yeah, you gotta go to the now, market and yeah, shit. Now in this game, I can collect everything in the wild. And then not spend a damn thing. Like, I, you know, Frozen said the game should be delayed. No, well, no. Yeah. should it have been delayed to make those environments better? Yes. Uh, does it really matter, though? No, because it's still it's selling like gangbusters right now. 
It's like outpacing like every fucking thing. Uh, right, now, right now, Amazon is sold out. Yeah, it's sold out. It's sold out unless you're buying it digital. Yes. And then, and even then, it's like downloading it is a chore because everybody's downloading it from the same server. So you just gotta. I just, I just had no problem downloading it, but like, it might. It took a little bit. I was just playing Pokemon Pearl while it was downloading, and I just jumped on, right on, and they gave me an actual code to get more Pokeballs for yeah. the game. I, I, you know what? Have you? I, when I was playing it, I did notice that it was a little slow in the beginning. I don't know if you noticed that, Big Mike or Brandon, uh, that it was, you know, it was a lot of talking in the beginning. Yeah. You know? It was. Yeah. It was a little heavy-handed with the talking. I think it would have been different if there was voice acting. Um, it, it, I, I think voice act. I think, like I said, Game Freak is on the cusp of fucking brilliance when it comes to the new Pokemon mechanics. But that yeah. there's presentation issues that I feel like Game Freak just can't do. They just they're just really they don't do that. So with, go ahead, Brandon. With this, with this Pokemon game, you know, you talk about you know long winded conversations. It is a little bit. It, it's a little bit. It, it, it reminds me. It reminds me of an RPG where there's like long talking side quests. Yeah. You know, like. But Steph, beginning crafting. that beginning part was like twenty five minutes though. Yeah. yeah, it was. It was like 25 minutes because all you did was walk forward, talk, walk forward, talk, walk forward, talk. Yeah. And then you did, did, did a scene transition. Then you found out, you know, I don't want to spoil anything, but then you talk. And then and then you get a Pokeball, you throw it, then you talk. And it's like, <laughs> holy shit, I get it. I get you're trying to do this, but let's go. But then once the game opens up, you're like mind blown on how open and um, approachable every situation is. That's why I like it. I think it's a good game. It's just, man, those graphics, the hug, those presentation things, man, is kind of a shit bag. I'm sorry. So I got a question. So, yes. Danny, what do you think if, like, next year or two years down the line, or something like that, they make you know a sequel to this, mm -hmm. but add Add voice acting. Add. It would be perfect. If, if they just did a little bit more with the open world presentation and added voice acting, it would be a renaissance for Pokemon games. Um, but until then, it's still good. Um, so let's go ahead and let's give our scores for the game that we've played so far. Let's just say up until then what our scores would be. Let me start with you, Brandon. One being... Uh, Death Trash, Tim being amazing, what do you give it? So right now, like, I'm still, and I'm not as far as probably you guys, but right now I'm loving it. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 right now until mm -hmm. I get further into it to explore more. But, like, because I'm, I'm not as far as Big Mike or probably you. Okay. So I'm going to say a 6 out of 10 right now. Okay. Big Mike, you got 15 hours into it. So you got kind of a meteor like uh, presentation of it. So one being Crackdown three or Death Trash ten being amazing. What you give it so far? I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm loving it. Okay, it's awesome. It's awesome. Like I, said, I, I, I love the crafting. I like the open worldness. I like the Pokemon. Like how you can walk around in the battle when you're mm -hmm. when you're, bat you're battling. I, I think it's awesome. Frozen said, I bet you this game gets snubbed at the Game Awards. This he should was clearly be. In, in Twitter. Well, I mean, it could be, you know? I mean, it depends on, on like, the rest of the year and how the game uh, is welcomed when everybody really gets a chance to play that motherfucker. Everybody's kind of, like, sinking yeah. their teeth into it right now. So there's not a lot of, like, outside of journalist impressions of it so and, and and they might even put add-ons you know like no well, dlcs of course yeah uh so i hope not but we'll see i, I don't see them adding dlc to this oh no they're, they are because if legend of zelda got it this got it for sure well, i mean for sure. Really they been... like money oh you know, for so sure Brandon... I mean, there hasn't really been a Pokemon with DLC, at least I... Never been one. Never, Legend of Zelda never had one either, right? Remember? Until it got to the Switch. And then it was like, here is DL motherfucking C. Well, uh, so... I mean, that's because, you know, everybody complained about 
Breath of the Wild on the Master Sword. It's like even I said the Master Yeah, but then they said, all right, you want the Master Sword? Cool. We'll pay for it so you can keep it. $20. I know. So, so, yeah, all right. So, my score, one being Crackdown 310 being amazing. Oh, you're right. You're, you are right there, Frozen. Sword of Shield did have DLC. I bought it. Right. Exactly. It had, uh, uh, it had, it had two things of DLC. So, I'm thinking I'm at a seven right now uh, for, for Pokemon Legends. I think the more I play it, the score might fluctuate a little bit. It just depends. Uh, I think the mechanics of the game is a 10 out of 10. The graphics are a th 1 out of 10. So that averages to a 7. So that's where I'm at. It's a 10 out of 10 for mechanics and physics and all that shit. And, but then graphics is a 0. So 7. There it is. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and change gears here. And... Let's pretend Ubisoft knows what gamers want. So, Ubisoft, and let me pull this article up for chat, and I'll even pull, you, pull it up for you guys here, too. Okay. Um, you know, I, I think old white dudes need to stop trying to talk, man. <laughs> and I, I think that's just what it is. And here, let me pull this up for you guys. Boom, and then let me pull this up for chat too so they can see it. And uh, yeah, so if you guys are familiar, you know you've heard the term NFT. We know NFT means non-failure tokens. Uh, so it, it, basically NFTs are like this blockchain thing that you can purchase that you know means nothing. So like there's this ape like png photo that sold for like a million dollars or something mm -hmm. and it's an nft and so since that was successful nfts kind of blew up and like so now everybody wants to add nfts to everything and that includes ubisoft so ubisoft wow. says and, and this is how insane ubisoft's old white dudes are right Ubisoft says that basically gamers don't get it. Like the reason why gamers are mad that Ubisoft wants NFTs is because we don't get it. We're, we're idiots. We don't understand blockchains. We don't understand being charged for stupid shit. Uh, right? Mm -hmm. So here is uh, the article here. This is Kotaku. Luke Plunkett basically kind of like exposed this interview from, from one of the Ubisoft execs. And um, let's see here. He says, and I'm trying to get his quote here. Okay, so he basically says, and this is his quote here, one of the execs. I think a gamers don't get what a digital secondary market can bring to them for now. Because of the current situation and the context of NX NFTs, gamers really believe it's first destroying the planet and second just a tool for speculation. But we at Ubisoft are seeing first is the end game. Uh, the end game is about giving players the opportunity to resell their items once they're finished with them or they're finished playing the game itself. So it really is for them. It's really beneficial, but they don't get it for now. It's not. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? So this is what Ubisoft thinks we are. Uh, we don't get it. And we don't understand being charged for stupid shit. Um, Bella, let me start with you. Mm -hmm. Are you an idiot? I just want to. I, I just want to ask you this question. You know what I'm saying? Because this is this is what Ubisoft. This is how they're approaching you, Bella. They're saying. You as a gamer, you support our games in the past, but you don't get it now. We want to be able to put things behind a paywall, a false paywall blockchain, and you just don't understand it, Bella. How do you feel about that, Bella? You don't get it. I feel it's incredibly stupid because <laughs> we play games to game. Okay? <laughs> we don't play games because... We want to buy some bullshit picture or whatever. It, it just sounds like they're trying to find more ways. Here's what I think the real problem is. Um, governments all over the world is cracking down on loot boxes. And now they're trying to find an alternate. They, they don't even give us the full game anymore. 
They sell us a fucking game for $60, and then we keep adding and adding and adding money to they want more money, so now they're adding NFTs. Like, these niggas will keep adding stuff <laughs> just to get more money. It's ridiculous because you're already getting a lot of money. Right. They're being greedy at this point. It's like they're trying to get Jeff Bezos or whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> and it's like, dude, you, you make games. Focus on your audience. Focus on your key audience. Your key audience, which is gamers, and you know, a lot of them are younger. They're not going to be interested in this dumb shit. Right. You're literally not helping them at all. You're just trying to find alternatives. Find it a different way because this ain't the way, bro. It's not. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> David, let me ask you the same question. Are you fucking stupid? Uh, because <laughs> so so they're saying they're saying it's for us, right? Listen to this, David. They said it's for us, right? And we get to sell our shit that we no longer use. But what Ubisoft is hiding, and I want you, I want your reaction to this, is that they're gonna lock shit behind the NFT paywall. They even said it in a press release before this interview that they were doubling down on NFTs and putting content behind that. So what do you think about that, David? Do you think, do you, are you as fucking stupid as Ubisoft says, or do you get it? Well, you know, the one thing, see, here's the fucked up thing about the non-fungible tokens. And people don't know what NFT stands for, non-fungible uh, tokens. But that shit right. is what up, DK? Because, because really what that's all about is, exactly, Bella hit that shit right on the head. Uh, there is a massive amount of legislation coming out of Great Britain, in the UK, uh, in Australia about those daggone loot boxes. Facts. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there's no other way they can... Listen, it's going to come over here. They got, loot boxes are going to die here in the next three to four years. But uh, they got to find a way to try and nickel and dime the consumer. And at this point, this is what they're doing. Uh, this is a good way to get around it because they're going to say, no, 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 no. They're not buying something that they don't know what's happening. They're, they have ownership. This is now like a stock. You can own a piece of the game. Mm -hmm. But what they're not telling you is that you can't, maybe you can't own the start button. Right? The same, the NFT, <laughs> oh, my button God, button. man. Button. And you own, well, you want to own your own start button? Well, purchase that shit today with a pre-order. And then now you can't. Oh, God, man. Oh, my God. David, what the then, fuck, dude? <laughs> Listen, dude, they can tell you that because then they can say, well, it's not a loot box, right? And the consumer wanted it, and there it is. And they own it. They own their start button now when it's on your damn controller. But that's what I'm saying. Is that <laughs> you, you, you know what's weird about that when you say that? And they can, they can argue the point that... It's not a loot box because you already know what it is, right? It's not a Correct. hidden thing. It's not a Correct. chance, right? Everything's front facing. If you want to purchase a helmet that's locked behind the NFT, you know what I'm saying? And you'll be the only one with this helmet in the game. And it's like you can sell the helmet. You can sell your equipment at a, you know, whatever the, the Bitcoin rate is or the NFT rate is to join that blockchain of helmets. And it's I mean, like they're gonna tell you they're gonna say, all right, we know they're gonna say, oh, it's not pay to win, it's pay to own, because somebody who comes into the you know whatever multiplayer game uh, that they're gonna create is gonna say, well, I got a big ass gun, and say, well, my NFT says I own the BFG, the big fucking gun. Right. <laughs> you can do the game better than I can. It's not pay to win. I own this. I own this. And then there it is again. It's just a way to get around kind of that loot boxy situation because they know it's coming. Uh, this yeah. that best door loot boxes are about to die. Brandon, uh, think, think about all the people who have announced games and said we're not including loot boxes because they know that in the future that shit is not going to exist. Brandon, let me ask you, dude. Just, okay. let, let me let me ask you this first. Ubisoft puts up a let's say a shirt for Rainbow Six. It yeah. is a one of a kind shirt, and it's a million dollars NFT. <laughs> it's all, only one person can have it in the world. It's locked behind the NFT. You buying it or no? No, I, I <laughs> no, I'm not buying it. But if one, I, I can. I, I'm just seeing the picture now. If someone actually buying it, 
and then th them saying that you can sell it back, it's going to be like GameStop. Oh, we'll offer. Oh a little my price. God! Dude, don't say it, man. Don't fucking say it, man. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. That's what they're going to do. They're going to screw us. Um, you you pay a thousand dollars for this shirt, and you're done with this game. You want to sell it back. But we'll give you a lower price, but then but sell it re-back to someone else for the same price. You actually, you're actually hitting on something that's actually even more scary than that. Think about the availability of digital games. Ooh. You can have a company say, look, we only have 100,000 NFT ver versions of Grand Theft Auto 6. Oh, it's my God, dude. Oh, fuck no, fuck revolt. that shit, dude. Listen, listen, you can't, revolt. Dude. You know, think about that. Bella, you can't, full like, fucking revolt. You can't just download it. They only have, you know, 100,000 NFTs available. Oh, oh my God, you know, dude. You can't get that game unless you buy <laughs> NFT. So th that's what, but that's what they don't tell you. They just want to say, "Oh, you're fucking stupid. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about." No, especially older gamers, we know that we got shit for free back then. You <laughs> was be good. You just had to get good, and you got good shit. Now, especially coming as an older gamer, I'm like, "Damn, man, I gotta pay for everything. I gotta pay for the game to turn on, and I gotta pay for the game to turn off. <laughs> shit, I can't turn the game off unless I pay." So it's like, just damn, like, just like this. That gonna gonna um. Not God of War, but um, Godfall. Oh yeah, um, facts. They, they, they uh, you know, they just now released. You know what Michael was saying a couple months ago or weeks ago, that you want you want this free game for uh, PlayStation Plus. We'll un we'll unlock this for you, and you'll be like maxed out and all that. Mm-hmm. Listen, they gave you the end game for free, but yeah. if you yeah. store, you gotta pay for it. <laughs> yes. That is bonkers to me. The reason why you go to the end game is because you're like, whoo, I got through the story. What else can I do? Not, I need everything to the end. That is bonkers. But then they're going to do an NFT for that. They're going to say, okay, well, we gave you end game. But if you really want to play the real game, we only got 60 copies of the NFT so you can play the story. That's going to be fucking dumb. Or, or what about one <laughs> game? What about, okay, uh, let's say Nintendo gets into it and it says, we got a copy of Pokemon Legends. But it's an NFT version, and it's forty thousand dollars. This copy is the only copy that has unlocked trading, unlocked. But if you own, you basically own the rights to this particular copy of the game. That that, that is, is that for the gamers? Uh, let me ask you, Big Mike. Is that is that a gamers no. thing? Is that for us? It's not. Def it's not definitely for the gamers. That's no. that's when I, you're gonna see me check out a gaming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's when you TV stop gaming. Fuck that. Now, 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 if you're, if guys, if you're in chat and you're listening to the panel, right? Do we sound like we don't know what the fuck we're talking about? <laughs> do, do it sound like we don't know what an NFT is? Do it sound like I we don't know is. when a company is getting ready to fucking shill our pockets full of cash on some stupid I, shit? I remember reading. Uh, I think it was last month. That Square Enix wants to, you know, dip their toes oh. into. Yep, so, I saw that. Yeah. But, no, could you imagine? No, no. Here, here we go. Yeah. Final Fantasy. I, I, I knew I was going to bring this up to Brandon. <laughs> here, we, here we go, Brandon. Here we go. Here we go, Brandon. For you only. Final Fantasy <laughs> Remake Part Two. Right. You only does one character in the game that's locked behind an NFT. Oh. It's only okay. three characters that are being sold. It is two thousand dollars a piece. So if you want this character in your game, you have to purchase the NFT. Now you can sell the character, like you. Yeah, of course you own the character, so you can sell that character to another person that has Final Fantasy Remake Two. But you've already spent two K, so now you got to you got to say it's three K in order for that person to get it. And yeah, you'll get it in NFT. But then what else? You lose the character. That person will gain ownership, and what do you gain? A dick, you, you, you gain a dick in your throat because you're basically gobbling uh, the purchase rights for this. Uh, so I, I don't understand why Ubisoft thinks, don't understand why people are shitty about this. Um, people are shitty because it's not an NFT for us. It's an NFT right. for the company. The company yeah. is hosting the NFTs. The company is selling the NFTs. And you think about how much they can hide behind NFTs. Like I said, man, people need to ponder that. That they can limit the number of digital downloads. But think about what Nintendo would do with it. 
right? If they had, you know, Metroid come out and they say, listen, this is the Metroid you always wanted, but there's only, you know, 300,000 NFTs available that you can't download. Meaning that if you go, if you got Switch, you can't download it unless you purchase an NFT. Wouldn't that be insane? That would be just like having copies in the store. Because that's what they really want to get back to, is to limit the content to the consumer. Right. They want to get to the point where they can stop people from downloading as much as they want. Because think about that, man. If, if you know, right now, you could just get, you know, like, look at the Pokemon, right? Hard copies are sold out, but you could just download online versions easy. Mm -hmm. But think about if they limited how much you can get, period, whether it's download or hard copy, you know, think about what happened with the PlayStations. Because that shit scares people charging, you know, twelve hundred and fourteen hundred dollars for a damn PS5. They could do the same thing to a digital item and say, well, you want that new Grand Theft Auto 6? Well, you know, they don't, Rockstar only made 600,000 copies. So hopefully you reserved your NFT. And if you didn't, tough titty. Check this out. So, so let, me, let, let me quote Luke here in the article. Let me quote Luke in the article here. He says, we absolutely get it. And we want nothing to do with it. It's telling <laughs> that it's a sales pitch coming from someone in the crypto space. Right. Since it has the same dangerous and soulless hallmarks of condescending hucksters who want to turn everything into a market. To transform even your leisure time into something that can be divine right. Uh, that, that can and by divine right should be commoditized. So you're not... I, I, Ubisoft is. I cannot even believe that they put this out with the proud chess, saying <laughs> that we don't fucking get it. And it's like, no, you don't fucking get it. Gamers don't want their time to have a price. They don't want that. They don't want shit locked behind NFTs. We don't want that shit. That's not what we want in our games. No, because ha half the people. You know, they work 40 hour weeks. They want to just get home and just, you know, be a, you know, game is like a stress reliever. We play it because we love it. You know, it, it you know, it's, we don't have that much time, but we love to play games. We don't want to be blocked into a corner where we have to pay for more than what we want. Think about like, all the porn games that will be locked for Big Mike. Man, oh shit! <laughs> like, I can't see them titties. I'm buying all the NFTs. <laughs> that would be a problem, those those, those are NFTTs. Uh, <laughs> uh, Wraith, what up, Wraith? I see you, man. I see wow. you. Uh, look, man, we don't want it. That's just what it is, plain and fucking simple. We don't want it, Ubisoft. That's what you're not hearing. What Ubisoft is saying, fuck you. We don't care if you don't want it. We'll make it available, and those who take advantage will prosper. That's literally what the fuck they're saying. And calling us stupid behind it, saying we don't get it. That's why we're angry. And what I want uh, one thing that David said, they, you said that uh, they want... To go back to the hard copies mm -hmm. in the store. Mm -hmm. what, they want, what they want to do is they want to treat it as hard copies. Because think about it, right? Right now, Pokemon Arceus, right, is sold out as a hard copy. But yes. you can, but you can download as much as you want as far as online. Think about how much the price of the NFT would rise if the hard copy sold out and the download is sold out. Think about no. what happened to Nintendo straight up uh, uh, rationed how many downloads is available. They could, you know, think about or, that. Or, 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 or how about this? Crazy. Uh, NFT, you pay the NFT to get in a download queue. You see right. what I'm saying? You own, you own the queue or a straight pipeline to the downloads for Nintendo. That's what they can lock behind the NFT. Or they could say, uh, this copy the ver there's two versions you can download the version or you can go to our nft pipeline here and download the nft version of fucking pokemon legends which is like you're you can sell this copy kind of like gamestop like they said you, you own this copy so you can sell this copy you can sell it digitally because you know the physical copies really are the only ones you really can sell digital right. you really can't but this yeah. one you can you can sell it you can trade it you can Blah, 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 blah. And it gives them a physical sense within the digital space. But 
That's not good for the gamer. That's not a gamer-oriented oh. uh, policy. That is a company-only policy. They try to f uh, put a facade and say that we'll make money off of it, but we still lose the right to it. If we sell it, we don't. We just gain the NFT balance. We don't actually own the product, and that's yeah. what they not get. That's what they don't think that we understand. We get it. We're not CNBC panelists. We're not always talking about finances and fucking shit. But we do know what our pockets look like. We know what our wallets look like. And we can tell you right now, what the last thing I want is extra expenses on my time gaming. That's just yeah. what the don't what the fuck I want. Ray said, I'm cool, Big Mike. Just been preparing, getting all I need is a whole month before I leave. Oh, shit. All right. Where you going, bruh? You must be going to Pegasus Nation. Uh, <laughs> the guy, you see that? Make sure you bring some copium with you, bruh. Uh, <laughs> did you see that uh, Twitter started the, the NFT thing? I saw Twitter did it. I, every, hell, I got NFTs. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't have any. I NFTs. swear to God, I got I'm NFTs. Dead. I got two NFTs. <laughs> and one of the NFTs is, and I'm going to put it in chat here. Because you, know, you, gotta, you gotta make some NFTs for the platform podcast. I do. I do. I do. Literally, I'm, I'm gonna put it in the chat. This is the NFT I have. You see that little Y emo? Yeah, sell that. I, I, <laughs> I do. I, I literally do. I swear to God, I have the NFT. Uh, and I'm not even lying to you. I got two NFTs. I got one picture of my big brother, not David, but my brother Egypt. And I got a picture. I got this Y. And I'm selling them both for, I think it's $2,500. Uh, what? Hey, huh. <laughs> yes. Like, <laughs> oh, I swear to God, dude. <laughs> what? I'm selling. I'm selling. Danny is bad for gaming. Danny is bad. Hey, hey I, this ain't gaming. This ain't gaming. This is this is NFT only. I'm selling photos. This has nothing to do with games. This is my personal scam. I, I, I'm scamming people. What? Yes. I'm scamming the shit out of people, dude. Seriously. I swear to God. I'm scamming the shit out of people, and I'm saying it. The, the it, NFTs is the scam. I swear to God, I'm, I'm scamming the shit out of people, dude, and I'm not even lying to you, dog. <laughs> Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The scam is coming. Yeah. Like this is a scam. Go ahead and buy it. I'm telling you. Right, right, right. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to pull it up for you guys here real quick so you can see it. Money just to throw. Right, yeah. just to throw away on a little less. Yeah. I mean, that's just that, that picture says it best. Why? What the fuck? Yeah. I, and, li and literally, that's why I put it on there, dude. Why? Seriously, that's why I put it on there because I'm like, why? Uh, but dude, hey, if somebody wants to give me ten thousand dollars for why, I'm not gonna ask it. I can tell you that. You ain't gonna deny it, are you? Nope, that shit's getting collected, and I'm gonna be cheap, Race. cheap scammer. Race is pulling up on uh, your at your house on March seventh. I see. He said he's coming to Indy, so he is coming to Pegasus Nation. So cool, <laughs> cool. I mean, goes, uh, now, this is actually Peg Nation down here. <laughs> he said Peg Nation. But yeah, he got his, he's going to truck driving school. He's got his, everything he needed. And he, he's going to become a professional truck driver, so. Oh, he's good, good. Man, okay. good for him, man. Big ups to him, man. It's always good when you improve your life. I like that. Life. Listen, he, has, he, he hasn't been gaming for like two months. He's been working on his life, getting, you know. Yeah. Good, good, good. I like Handle that. your business first. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, but I'm trying to show you my fucking NFTs right here for if this page will load. It's like maybe I need to pay an NFT for this page to load. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, go ahead. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> so, Wraith, while he's there looking, make sure when you see Danny, you body slam him for me. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> ah, ah, put him to the table. <laughs> Let me pull it up for you guys here. <laughs> what up, joke? So if you see, if you look at my stream here, you'll see I got my NFTs. That's my big brother, Egypt. I got my collection. I got two in there. I thought three items, but I put the Y in there twice because I sold it for two different prices. Can you believe that? Let's see how the scam goes. I got two of the same photo at different prices for the NFT. <laughs> Let's see how the scam goes. You know what I'm saying? 
This is so wrong, dude. Dude, I, I swear to God, I, I'm trying to load the, it up, but it's not. It, first, this page isn't first, loading for some reason. So you gotta pay to pay. To I gotta pay it, to N- NFT for that. Oh there, oh, there it is. Damn, it just loaded. It. there it is. So, so here is my NFTs right here, right? <laughs> and they're not spelling. Yeah, I see them. You see? So, hold on, let me pull it up for chats because chat can't see it in so, Discord. Uh, who, who's, who's dumb enough to <laughs> pay? for this here's my fucking nft this is how stupid ubisoft looks all right and here here's my nfts i have big bro and i called it screaming man and <laughs> it, 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 this is this is 3200 nft <laughs> i have the i have the first y which is 2500 nft and then the second y is 10k why is it <laughs> <laughs> because you, I wanted two different whys. See how good the scam is. Let's see how scammy it can get. So yeah, I got I got NFTs out there, and I wanted to see the scam. So if you guys want to purchase it, so if someone is stupid enough to spend ten k on that damn why, I want to slap the shit out of them. <laughs> I mean. You can't spend cash on it, can you? It has to be crypto, I think. Well, you gotta you gotta put cash in the wallet to buy crypto. You still take cash to buy yeah, crypto. Uh, that's what I thought. Yeah, I yeah. So, so twenty five hundred dollars worth of NFT. So, if you got twenty five hundred dollars, you want to waste? Give it to me. <laughs> Why not? I I want to sell you stupid shit. And if you want to buy dumb shit, I got you, bro. <laughs> fill fill my pockets with dumb love, and I'll support it. Uh, just, just saying. Sure, hey, just make sure, Danny, when you get that twenty five k, that you know you give all of us on the platform podcast at least you know two thousand dollars. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give Bella twenty five hundred. <laughs> I'm gonna give David twenty five hundred. I'm gonna give Brandon twenty five hundred. And I know I'm not getting nothing. <laughs> you will. Get, I'm gonna give you an NFT of titties. That's what you're getting. What up? Oh, what up, Queen? What up? I see you. I see you. Uh, get NFT and it, it'll, it'll be worth 2500 but it'll just be tits. And uh, <laughs> you do what you want with it. But, but everybody else I no, love, so they'll get on. cash. No. So. Do not tell him to do whatever he wants. <laughs> please. Is he'll own it. If he, if, 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 he, if, if, he wants to, if he wants to splooge on the NFT, that's him, man. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna go on this NFT right now. Oh my god! <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, so how you doing? What up? Oh, what up? So, news. So that's all I'm saying. So Ubisoft thinks we're fucking idiots, and uh, and I am gonna. Yeah, I got NFTs for the idiots. So if you want to be fucking stupid, I got you. Um, all right, so let's go ahead. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. All right, so let's go ahead and go to our next one here, and that is Call of Booty. So Call of Duty, I know dudes were, were having massive amounts of copium uh, when they heard about the, you know, motherfuckers buying Activision, Xbox bought Activision, and so they wanted to make sure that shit was going to stay the same, but it might not. It's still kind of scary the way all this verbiage is, is going on. I know. So remember, basically, remember when, said, remember when he said, "It's my," remember he said, "It's my desire right. to keep Call of Duty." He he didn't say, "Hey, we are keeping Call of Duty on." He said, exactly. "It's my desire." So you that means desire. You desire it, meaning how much money is it going to take to make me desire that shit? <laughs> <laughs> So well, basically, the next three Call of Duties will release on PlayStation, the and contract, it, contracted too. By yeah, the yeah, and they're all still. They, these are under the contract, so these are not like this is not Phil Spencer saying here's Copium, here is right. releasing. No, this is <laughs> what's under contract. This it was already guaranteed. So, to be it, made. Yep. so it will be a game from Infinity Ward. It will be a Modern Warfare, which I think is Modern Warfare what three or something like that, two or three. I can't I remember. So, yeah. Uh, and okay. then you and then you have a new Call of Duty from Treyarch, and then you will have a version of Warzone. So there, and you everybody kind of knew Warzone would stay. So they're gonna have a new version. So Warzone is gonna stay the same, but all the additions to Warzone is gonna happen yeah. on PlayStation. I don't think um, Warzone. And it's not gonna 
it's not going to come out every year, so they're going to spread it out also. No, I haven't said no. that yet. No, uh, what up, Joker? I see you, bro. I see you. So, yeah, as long as you own your own rig, you can choose what people pay, and when you work, how long you work, etc. Oh, well, he's talking to uh, Wraith. I think Warzone's going to be uh, an exclusive. Yeah, I think Warzone will definitely be exclusive. I don't think Warzone's going to be an exclusive. I, that, I, that I disagree with because Warzone is still current. Because Warzone is currently on all systems active, and 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 I think and so is Bethesda's game. But 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 here's the thing, though, David. Warzone. Well, here's the thing. Warzone is not. Warzone is not new. It's not a release. It's not a re-release. It's still currently on every system. There's no point in to remove. You have to remove it from PlayStation, which That's they're true. not going to do because it still will be a current right. contract. What, and since it's, they, since it's a live of service game, Warzone is, then it's always going to be live. Like, it's never going to be... Though, what's going to happen? Now, what's not going to happen is Call of Duty, the actual Call of Duty games themselves, not the Warzone shit. Wait I a minute, think, what, but this Warzone is going to eventually die, though. It's it will, it will, it will, it will, it will. When this shit dies, then what's going to happen? They're going to bring Warzone back on PlayStation? I now, it about. says, according to this interview, an official interview, it says, beyond these three games, it's unclear whether or not the future of Call of Duty titles will release on PlayStation mm. or be exclusive on Xbox. <laughs> they, they just but, not, man. They just not. I, I can see them kind of putting it on the PlayStation, you know, to make extra money, but saying, uh, well, you know, since they're like their Xbox, we'll give these exclusives only to Xbox and nothing to PlayStation. No, nah, they won't do that. What they're going to say is PlayStation ain't got that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's literally what I mean that, that, that is fact, though. When people but see how big Bethesda Bethesda join, is. But listen, when is a big join, game. But you got to go back to what they said about Bethesda. They said the exact same thing. Oh, it's our desire to make sure Bethesda and their games are available on as much platforms as possible. Blah, 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 blah. But then they said, <laughs> <laughs> that shit is all Xbox. The new, that new shit that started, <laughs> that shit is Xbox. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, man, it, it's sad. This is, this is where Daddy talks about his copium. Uh, <laughs> this is definitely copium. You're going to need a copium fallopium. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Because Bella, like, let, let, let me ask you. Let me ask you, because you, over. you, you, you words all, man. That's all Call of Duty shit is over. Let me, let me hold on, hold on. Shit is gone. Bella, you know, let me let me ask you. Call of Duty. If you spend sixty eight billion dollars, right? If are you going to put shit out, or are you going to make sure your shit is good first? What what what, what, what are you thinking? Uh, of course, I'm gonna make sure my shit is set in stone first, and then you know. What's left? <laughs> there you go. And as a business, you gotta realize these people are a business. We care about these games, we care about these titles, we care about right. the stories, but they don't. They care about that money. So they're gonna make sure they're good, and then whatever's left, whatever they can patch, uh, whatever bridges they don't have to burn, they'll do that. It's That's sad. And, 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 and I'm just like. I, I don't understand why people are not getting this, right? Microsoft paid sixty-eight billion fucking dollars, no, man. And they, 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 they're not going to say, "Well, we'll man, still treat." This, listen, bad, bad business is bad business, right? <laughs> And and they're not in the business of bad business. This is Microsoft, man. <laughs> you guys not hear me. The investment that they put in this. We're talking about bill we're talking about tens of billions, right? <laughs> I always gotta keep saying this. They spent as much money for them as the total amount of Nintendo. <laughs> Right? So because they basically bought an entire segment of gaming, they're not going to be like, oh, we're going to share the wealth. <laughs> shit, this is not trickle-down economics. This shit is keep, keep, keep. Them motherfuckers going to keep that shit. They're never going to share that shit. <laughs> and, and listen, it's not, it's going it, to, I'll, I'll, I'll predict this. Game Pass is going to be on fucking PlayStation in the next two years. Mm. Game Pass will be on there, and then people can say, shit, at least we got Game Pass on PlayStation. <laughs> then that's when the console wars will die. Okay, because so I know, I know, man. Hold on. Jo 
matter. It won't matter. Anymore. Joker says Microsoft going to pressure uh, put pressure on PlayStation to work out a contract to allow them to have Activision games on their platform. So they're yeah. going to make bank from PlayStation. No but see, but here's the thing though: it's not going to come as you think. See, a lot of copium out there. People think that Microsoft is going to be like. Oh, yeah, we're going to really, you know, you could just release the game. It'll be on PlayStation. No, what, there's going to have to be a way for you to get it. And what that way is what David was talking about, which is Game Pass. In order, right. you can say, oh, yeah, you want to have access to Activision? Right. Great. You can, you can download Game Pass on PlayStation, and you know what's gonna, and you know what the fervor is gonna be about that, because you know everybody, all, all the the fanboys move the goalposts every time, right? They're gonna say Game Pass is better on PlayStation than it is on Xbox. It's gonna be the same stupid shit, and people are not even realizing that the console wars is dead. Than a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like because there's no way that you can even support your own personal narratives about. PlayStation and all this shit when you're playing on fucking Game Pass on, on this motherfucker, which is Xbox, and Xbox is only making money off of that. Like, Sony wouldn't really make any money off of users purchasing Game Pass on PlayStation outside of whatever, outside of the money they made from people buying systems. You know what I'm saying? Like, because they're not going to say, well, we'll, we'll, get, we'll give you a, a cut of our subscriptions to PlayStation, that's also bad right. business because it's only like nine right. ninety nine already. So they're not going to cut their cut already because they already right. have to pay developers. They have to pay people to be on Game Listen, Pass. They're going to raise Game Pass price. Listen, oh, they, sure. they, oh yeah, the game, they said fifty games are in development as first party, right? So and they said, oh, this is going to be day one. There's absolutely no way they're going to keep the price that it is now and offer 50 games day one. Bullshit. <laughs> she probably jumped to about $25 a month, which I'm willing to pay. Because if I can get 20, 40 games on day one, I'll take that. Even though it is kind of scummy a tiny bit, I'll take it. <laughs> well, I, I, well, I feel like this. So I don't console. So well, well, think, think about it like this. Think about it like this, David. It's all about content. Right, and if you're pushing hella content, right? If you gain more content, you expect to pay a little more. It's just like buying food, right? If you if you go to McDonald's and you spend two dollar, three dollars, you get two doubles and a medium fry, right? It's not not a lot of food, but if you spend eight dollars, you can get a Big Mac, a quarter pounder, large fries, and a sundae. You see what I'm saying? You spent more, you got more. And you have to kind of look at it like that. And a lot of people aren't looking at it. They're looking at it with these, like, fanboy circles in their eyes. And it's like, you're not looking, man. This shit is not going down the way you think it is. Look up. Look up. Look up. You know what I'm saying? Because, honestly, the the chokehold on, on Call of Duty, I've never seen so many people butthurt about a game do, that they hate. Do, it, you know it, what I'm saying? Like do, do, they, they moment, say they hate it, but they get it every year. Dude, exactly. And the moment I heard that they said, oh, we we desire the moment I heard that comment that we desire <laughs> that, that was almost like sitting on the throne saying kiss the ring. <laughs> it was like it was like, oh yes, you say you want me to help you. Oh, okay, well there's something you need to do for me. You know, it's real like sitting on the throne kind of bend the knee type stuff and like i said man playstation is going to bend the knee uh because this is call of duty right this is a game that is outsold everything right i mean yeah. even movies or whatever this is call of duty and yeah. so they want a piece of that pie man and, and listen game pass i predict will be on playstation they already talking about it but maybe not though because playstation coming up with their kind of new game pass system we'll see yeah. but i'm gonna tell you it's going to be a sad day when you look up and you see that Game Pass is on fucking PlayStation and people are going to be like, oh, well, my, like Danny said, my Game Pass plays better on the PlayStation. You know that's going to be the argument. They, they're going to be like, Game Pass plays better on PlayStation. It's going to be like, you have to use Game Pass. You can't think it's better. You can't even get it. But it you, you know what's funny about that? You know what's funny about that? Because that, that will literally be a, it will be one of those moments where you have realized that we live in idiocracy because here oh, is yeah. is is people saying and i'm just predicting this just quote me here 
fanboys will say Game Pass is better on PlayStation. And I <laughs> guarantee it. And it's like you don't even understand that you're talking about Microsoft, man. <laughs> You're not I'm even saying. getting it. You're saying Game Pass, and you know they're gonna say, "Oh, the games run better on PlayStation." Are you really listening to your fucking self? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm getting pre shitty because I already know it's going to go down. It's like I got my shit on layaway. I got my shittiness on layaway because I because there's no. I mean, for real, Bella. It's like, come on, man. How idiotic you got to be if you still trying to carry on with console war bullshit once Game Pass hits PlayStation. Then here, I got NFTs to sell you. You know what I'm saying? I absolutely got NFTs. You know what I'm saying? If you need the link, I'll send them to you, man. Uh, uh, DK said, yeah, but what company, though, wouldn't kill what they grow? But see, listen, man. Listen, listen, it won't be killed because you know what happened? People just buy more Xboxes. I mean, <laughs> it's point for buying more PCs. Because it, that, there's not, that, the, the thing about it is those people who, like, live and die by Call of Duty, by Call of Booty, they're always going to have it. And so <laughs> if they can't get it on PlayStation, which, I mean, they're going to get it for the next three years because, you know, they're going to get those installments. But after the desire leaves, <laughs> in PlayStation, that shit is going to be locked and key. Motherfucker's going to be like, damn, you're going to see fanboys, like you said, I need my gay pass. And that, that's the day I'm going to laugh. David, like, you, you want to you see a crazy <laughs> comment? You want to hear a crazy comment? And King made this comment. And this is funny because the comment that King made is already happening on PC. Check this out. He says, that would be cool. Then you get all the PlayStation exclusives and all the Xbox exclusives on PlayStation. But here's the crazy part. You can get all the Xbox exclusives and PlayStation exclusives on what? Hashtag PC. So it's already happening. If PlayStation doesn't get with the ball game, guess what they're going to be? They're going to be number three. And that's sad as fuck because I don't want to see it. I don't want to hear it out there. I don't want the arguments. I, I will block you on Twitter immediately. I guarantee it. You will get an Insta ban up in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Just I don't want to hear it when you say, well, what about what about isms you know what what about my nuts what about my dick like there's a lot of what abouts but when, when it's when it's all said and done it is when it's all said and done it's already happening if you want an everything box you can get it right now without the merger without waiting for activision without waiting for playstations to have not only PlayStation Game Pass, but actual Game Pass. So you'll have two passes on PlayStation. Uh, it, it, it just sounds so and, fucking crazy. So just expect it, people. Don't and, get hurt. Just expect it, you know? And and if you get a PC, Danny will help with any problems. No, that is not. It's Bella. <laughs> Bella's your support <laughs> agent. If you, wanna, if you need help with your PC, reach out to Bella. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? What's wrong? Nothing. It's just that we, we need support when everybody starts buying PCs. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so she, she like, writes code and shit. So, there you go. You got a person that can help you eternally. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. my, my DM's locked. My DM's locked. And Bella's DM's is also closed. So, I don't know how you can get help. Not really. Your <laughs> DM's not closed. <laughs> No one comes to me. <laughs> no, don't don't oh, ask Brandon for help. Your shit will blow up. Please don't. You've been DMing Bella. You've been DMing Bella. Brandon, answer the calls. They go have you in the basement somewhere. No. Don't answer the calls. No, I said because usually if I have a PC prom, I always go to Danny. No, don't come to me. Cool. Don't come to me because y'all gonna be mad in a bitch. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna be y'all gonna get. Hey, did you turn it off and on? Okay. Right. Right. Uh, <laughs> DK said, you knew it was coming sooner or later. Is I feel like once PlayStation so slowly dies off, everybody's going to switch to PC and it's going to kill Xbox as well. Um, facts. Uh, I, I, honestly, hashtag PC. If, if, you want the best of, if you want the best of both worlds, right? If you want, uh, uh, you know, leg-shaking 4K at 120 <laughs> FPS, right? Without compromise. What, what, what do the legs have to be shaking? You, it's, ha it's hashtag, when you see the graphics, you go goat legs. You go goat legs when you see the graphics, right? So, like, honestly, if, 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 you, want, if you want the best of all, like, if you want the best of how exclusives perform, legs. <laughs> you might as well get you a, look, invest in a PC so right now. <laughs> 
Yeah, you're just mad. Okay, goat legs is like, oh, it's like, you know, when you stretch out, when it finally happens and you just tense up. I'm telling you, it's going down. And and, and, I, and I, I don't want to hear it, man. I don't want to hear people like Danny. But Danny, what about Game Pass on PlayStation? But Danny, what about our first party exclusives? But Danny, what about Sexbox? And there, uh, I don't give a fuck when it's all said and done. Hashtag PC. Make sure you guys get one, okay? If you want to play Call of Booty as well as God of Floor, and you want to play motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? But you also want to play Failo and motherfucking uh, uh, Gears of Fail. If you want to play any of that shit, hashtag PC. Huh? We're getting the knockoff version on PC. Oh, right. facts. It's, 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 it's running at 4K. 120. You get you know, you getting you getting Titty Mon. You get because I'm playing I'm playing that on PC right now. I'm playing Titty Mon Legends right now. I'm playing yeah, that right the knockoff version of Pokemon. <laughs> it's the Aldi version. Yeah, you said uh, having Xbox and PlayStation being one somewhat even for years yep. kept people on consoles, but this shit's gonna push people to buy a PC, including you, Joker. I see it in your future, bro. Then you come get it in Rust, fam. Uh, King said you get to run with your pinky up and jump with the space bar. Facts. You be like, what? Just jumping like a motherfucker, just running with a gun and your shit's up. Look, Bella running like this with a. She got the Sadiddy uh, hashtag PC shit. She just killing motherfuckers. Pop, pop, uh, pop. <laughs> Uh, shit, you said, Joker said, yeah, I'm buying a PC once I move, facts. Uh, DK said, well, I was planning to make a new PC anyway. See, everybody's like, you know what it is? It's called coming to grippium, right? Yeah. It's, it's, com <laughs> it's, it's coming to grips. It's like when people realize, they go, damn, all of our Pegasus efforts have failed, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. All of our, all of our X-Bot, all of our X-Bot shit has failed. Our X-Bots have malfunctioned, and Pegasus nations have lost their wings, right? And what's the only thing standing is a yellowish figure with a cape, uh, 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 chalk white hair flying through the Everspace with Dragon Ball Z physics, Landing as he land, he breaks the concrete and he goes, "Welcome to PC," and he just fucking pulls his chest and shoots a laser beam that destroys consoles and shit. Hey, I'll do it. Like all kind of shit. Like just stop. Yes, and uh, all right, let, 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 let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> Oh my god. Let me stop waxing poetic about PC. All right. So, you know, that's what it is. So, you know, NFTs, PC, um, you already know. All right. So, last thing for today is the Uncharted trailer. So, everybody keeps saying that this is going to convince me that it's going to be dope, right? So, I, I don't so know how you. It's supposed to convince us. It's supposed, they said this final trailer is going to make us realize that it's going to be fucking amazing, right? I highly fucking doubt it. Like, I am on high doubts. But I'm going to pull this up for chat, and I'll pull it up for you guys here. And we'll take a peek at the final trailer for fucking Uncharted Failures. We'll see if, if Tom Holland can actually fucking pull it off. What? I highly been made and all of a sudden Spider-Man comes through? <laughs> dude, that's going to be so <laughs> shitty, dude. That's like super shitty, man. All right, here we go. Last trailer, final trailer for Uncharted. Okay. I've been dreaming about this my whole life. Yep. The Jones Gold. It's the biggest treasure that's never been found. Five billion, easy. So when do we start? Yeah, put that in your room. Hello? Hello? I can hear you. I'm sitting right next to you. <laughs> your brother believed that there was a final piece. But you know my brother Sam? What else aren't you telling me? You have no idea who you partnered with. <laughs> it's gonna take a little longer than I thought, kid. I assume we're 50 50, right? 50 50? You get 10%, and that's me being generous. Wow. Let's play some parachutes. What? Unless you know a better way to jump out of a plane. Oh my god, I'm so excited! 
so sorry. <laughs> okay, this is giving me a special. Yeah. <laughs> Spider Man <laughs> fucking spider charted. Oh Antonio Banderas. I love him. Oh shit, I'm gonna like a mic ch check. I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna watch this. They lifted a whole boat out that bitch. That's On a helicopter, that shit is stupid as fuck. Dude, what the fuck? Barely? What's with the cat? Oh, okay. Weird. What? Life seems super sad. I'm not gonna keep this thing exclusively in cinemas. <laughs> okay. I, okay. I, I okay. definitely want. To, I definitely want to see it. Okay, so that is the final trailer for Uncharted. What up, Braze? I see you, bro. Um, Bella, let me start with you. Um. Are you gonna go see it or you? <laughs> okay. I, I got words for this one because objectively, like I'm a I I know Uncharted. I actually have like all of them. The problem is I've never really sat down and played through them. Like I've had them for years. I know it's disappointing, but I but I usually because I bought it from my cousins. They loved it, so whenever they come over, they play it and I watch it. And it's a pretty entertaining game. Now, um. I'm looking at this trailer from the perspective of an action movie lover. I love action movies. It looks good. My, I have, I have a little issue with Mark Wahlberg just always playing Mark Wahlberg, no matter who. <laughs> 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 playing him. That is his facts, though. He <laughs> always plays Mark Wahlberg. No, I'll get it. But like, uh, okay. But I do love the action movie aspect. It's looking really good. I like the whole. They they grab the whole fucking pirate ship. And sexy ass Antonio Banderas is in it, so I'm just like, I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm watching this shit for sure, for sure. And I want to see what Tom Holland does with this because you know you gotta be able to um, act in uh, display a character without just it being. You gotta be able to be the character and be yourself, but not be yourself and in, in merging it. Because, you know, some actors, which they're great, great actors, they are, some actors are just themselves as various characters, like Mark Wahlberg. Right. But, and then some actors know how to really just get ingrained in the character so much to where when you see them in another movie, you can't put the two together. So I'm hoping that's what he does with it. Okay, I see. I'm I see. see it for sure. I see. He kind of convinced me a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Big Mike, what you think, man? Last trailer, bro. Uh, it, it definitely looks like a very fun movie. I've played all the Uncharted games, and I like them. I've always, I fell in love with them because they're like a good action RPG game. I would say RPG, but a good action. I'm about to say, don't say that shit. Not RPG, but it's, <laughs> it's a good, it's a good third person action game adventure game. game. It's an action adventure yeah. game. Yeah, but. But like I said, it definitely looks like it's gonna be a fun movie. You know, sit back, grab your popcorn, maybe sit with a you know a loved one, or just sit by yourself and just enjoy a good movie. Uh, Brandon, <laughs> you're rolling, dude. Uh, what you think, man? You think it's shit tier, or are you supporting it? One, Michael is trying to do <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Hey guys, you you have a date? You want a loved one? Come to the movie. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker pitch. He 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 can't. He's so PlayStation. He pitching our charity movie, man. <laughs> Damn. You are my loved one, Brandon. I put my arm around you last night. Oh, <laughs> whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Hold on. What? Mike's in the cop car. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Bing <laughs> bong. <laughs> I mean, shit, you and I shared a, you know, a thing of popcorn and went to see Spider Man. I was like a couple seats away from no. you. <laughs> they was holding hands and they had their. Big, Mike, yeah, had, Big Mike had a hole in the popcorn, so when he reached down, yeah. he was like, no. What is that? It's, I mean, it's that so is tough. That what is that? Ben had his hand on my leg. He said, Is that your web shooter? <laughs> oh my god. That's, that's a bunch of goddamn lies. No. So one, <laughs> so, oh, no. So, one I, uh, I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to give it a chance. But, like with Bella saying, with, you know, with acting, 
you know, he, you know, Tom Holland does not want to be known for just Spider-Man. He needs to branch out and be known for more. Well, than do you do you think Spider-Man. Uncharted was the right step though? Because I mean, honestly, he, I swear honestly, to God, I cannot see honestly, him. Honestly, that's the role he wanted. He like he even like that was his one wish. He was like before even this happened, he was like, I would like to play Nathan Drake one day, and boom, it happened. You know, and before he even became Spider Man, he was like, I would like to be Spider Man. It happened. Like he's making and according, according to Mike, you were Spider Man. All right, at the damn movie theater. <laughs> he's, he's he's making he's making his dreams come true also in the roles that he wants. Who Big but, Mike? No, no. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. What are you talking about? Oh. No, uh, no, we're Tom not going there. <laughs> Tom Holland, you know, I I think this is the movie he wanted to play. I don't know about the script. Like, because that's, that, that's a hit, like a break, break dealer here is the script. Like, you can play the character great, but if the script is shit, then the movie's going to fail. Okay, Bray says, I'm just not sold on Wahlberg till I see the movie. I know, <laughs> man. Wahlberg. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you, Bella. I'm with you on that, Bella. I'm like, it just he's so Mark Wahlberg. Like exactly. <laughs> he goes. He got a fucking he be down here a lot restaurant downtown. And he's the same way in person. <laughs> <laughs> Samuel Jackson would have been a good sully. <laughs> No, he wouldn't. Should, Samuel Jackson would have been terrible, dude. Nathan Drake, I'm so tired of these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. See, you just yeah, that you just unseasoned that shit, dude. Hell no, nah, man. Hell no, nah, man. It's that Boston accent. It's that Boston accent. Hey, yo, you know what is this here, yeah, man? Boston, you know, fuck you. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, man. What the fuck? You know what really, you know what really made this movie like sell? Is Nathan Fillion, which yes, was Nathan movie. Fillion was perfect. He is yes. perfect. Oh. That's a YouTube. He did a YouTube. Yeah, he did a uh, YouTube yeah, like, movie. That was, uh, a, that that was, was amazing. amazing. He looks like Nathan Drake. I'm surprised yeah. they didn't choose him. Well, he he he, uh, he actually really commissioned for that part, and they we went with Tom Holland. They went with the bigger star. But I felt like when you're talking about gamers, right? Like when we look for stuff, right? We look for continuity. That's why we always complain about sequels and shit, because certain things aren't connecting. And yes. when you look at Tom Holland, he does not scream a chiseled, super like knowledgeable explorer. He does not scream that. He screams Spider Man kid. Like yes. he just, just does not but even in the trailer. But I get why they did it though. Why why I you think they did, they did it? He um right now he's he's the face, okay? Everybody knows Tom Holland's face. Yes. Not only that, he's younger, so if they want to put him in multiple sequels, they can. You know, Nathan Fillion is a established actor, but he's older. They want to pull in a younger I audience see. and have bigger numbers. You know what and I mean? Another thing, on that comment, what Bella said, this is a prequel of Uncharted. This is like before oh, all the Uncharted yes. games. Mm, yes, so they, they, they put in, in, they they put in a, a third game. And that's another problem, because why we always got to do prequels? If you're doing this for gamers, right? Like, if this is a famous franchise, right? Then people already know what Nathan Drake is. Uh, I feel like they, 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 they're doing a prequel, like Bella said, just trying to pull in the younger people. But young people already game. They already yeah, know what they fucking... Want, they want to sell tickets to them, yeah, too. Yes, but the younger gamers are whiners. Not like us. Like, we grew up on Nintendo... Where there's no save files. If you died, you died. It's beginning facts. Oh my god. Facts. You so, know. But they. But listen, I'm. I'm with you. I guess that's what it is. I'm not gonna lie. That boat scene where they had them on the helicopters. That looked kind of dope. But it's yeah, like. It, dope. <laughs> it also <laughs> it breaks physics in half. But I. I that does look okay. Look, but, 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 don't be like overthinking it there, Danny. It's a movie. Yeah, it's an action movie. They're gonna be doing. I get it. Several kilometers. It's gonna be ridiculous. I get it. I get it. I saw it. I mean, I, I think uh, you know, if you go into it not thinking it's gonna win an Academy Award, yeah, and just, go, and just go into it as 
is he going to be as gravity defying as Nathan Drake? That's what I'm looking for. I want to see can he hang on the corner of the piece of the wall with his fucking thing <laughs> and drop down? Because that's what I want to remember. Nathan Drake does that in the game. This motherfucker climbing rocks and his hands, he's on the corner. It's like, dude, you're, you're dead. I mean, anybody in life be fucking dead because you can't, you can't hang on like that forever. But I want to see if he could do that. I want to. <laughs> See if Tom Holland to just what go about gravity the, to find and just do shit that you. I want to see him whip out that rope do. and you know like slam onto it, like swing him from a tree and shit like that, like he does. And like yeah, like, yeah, doing your hooch, yep, and just do it. If they do that, the, the movie will succeed. Like I said, I think it looks like a good action flick, good popcorn flick, just to sit down and have some fun. Uh, it's gonna be garbage though. I I don't think it's gonna be. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be. It's just gonna be garbage though. It's, it's gonna, gonna be garbage. Be I said I don't think it's gonna be garbage. I just don't think it's gonna win an Oscar or, nice. or or Emmy or anything. I just think it's just gonna be a good action popcorn flick. But I think, the, it's, gonna the, I, I think of Mark Wahlberg. I think it'll be garbage because of Mark Wahlberg. You know what? As as a gamer though, I, as a gamer though, I'm sick of that though. As a gamer, I'm sick of that. I'm sick of just okay. We're just gonna make a great movie, but there's no continuity, and I hate that shit. Like yes, it might it, it, it might be like a physical physical you know graphical ex effects extravaganza, but like and like does it really put me as like oh i'm watching a fucking live action uncharted no it's gonna be live action tom holland in an uncharted like <laughs> area with fucking mark Wahlberg busting it out you know what i'm saying it's gonna be like and then like like sully was super supportive he was never a shit bag right uh, so was, sully was like a grizzled old dude i mean i mean, I mean he, 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 he always was like he always was like, you know, you need to get out of the predicament, but he never was like, mm. I'm going to personally put you in shit just to fucking no. uh, get a Boston accent out. Get like, ready, that shit's not ready. happening, because man. Because was always like a side character. He didn't really yeah. do anything. Yeah, but they, but they got Mark Wahlberg up in the hell. He had more lines in the fucking trailer than Mar than Tom Holland had. And it's like... <laughs> because it's Monkey Mark. Come on. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. It's got the... <laughs> David get, David gets an older guy point for knowing that song and shit. Uh, you, know what, right. you know what they're gonna do at the end? What's at that? The, at the end, at the end oh, the praise! Thank you for the hundred biddies. Appreciate <laughs> you, praise! <laughs> thank you, man. Yeah, at the end, you, you know the credits were rolling, and here's Mark Wahlberg going, "Check out Ted 3. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would rather see Ted 3 than fucking <laughs> Uncharted. If my hype levels, if you talk about hype levels, Ted is a fucked up story, which I love you, fucked you, up shit. You know, so. That would ruin the movie if they are in a car and they turn on the radio and there's good vibrations come on. <laughs> that would ruin the movie. If, if they do that, if they do that, it's over. I'm going to turn the movie. I'm going to like, do uh, uh, it. What they need to do is have like that, that, that scene where, where uh, you know, he was hanging out of that helicopter. Once he lands, it should just switch to good vibrations uh, video. Yeah. And have Marky Mark with his shirt up to butt. <laughs> and he has a shirt up. That shit would be the most garbage. That shit would be the most garbage shit I ever seen in my life, man. I would just, I would just leave. If I was at the theme, I would just leave. I'd just be like, uh. uh. <laughs> just start putting your shit on. Like, oh, get the fuck out of here, man. You know how I know that sort of garbage? That your your camera just said, I'm I know out. your camera. I'm out. I'm out. My camera said, fuck that shit, I'm out. Hey, look, this is, this, is what, this is my perspective. What we need. Oh, shit. You gotta take Tom Holland out. What we need there is, you know, for Nathan Drake. It's the Tiger King, Dave. Oh, shit. Be like, God damn it, it was Carol Baskin. You want to see Nathan Drake? It was Carol Baskin who killed Nathan Drake. She is. What did he do? I'm not looking at anybody. But oh, if that bitch you did it, I tell you, that's it. Let, let me ask you, Tiger, Tiger King, while you're here. Did, did, you, did, you think that, you know, did, you, did you think that Bella was first trapping? Well... He's not there trapping, but Carol Baskin is. Check that tiger's DNA, and that'll tell you what it is. It'll say Carol Baskin's husband. It'll say Tiger and Carol Baskin's husband. <laughs> 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 
All right, let's let's get the fuck out of here before Tiger King. Yo, clip uh, that, Joker, if you can, clip that. Oh my I'm God, that's just stupid as shit, man. All right, um, I'm in tears. Who we raid, man? <laughs> who, the, who the fuck we raid, man? Shouts <laughs> out to Bad Bella. Shouts out to Big Mike. Shouts out to Dave D. Shouts out to <laughs> Brendan, <laughs> the whole man. Uh, let's see who we raiding. Who we got? Who's out? Oh, Who's live? Oh, damn, that's great. I see. Just my day. I see. We got a wild Karen. Yeah, There's one of those. We got that. We got uh I see I struggle streaming. Oh no. Nope. No. I see black girl gamers is streaming. I is see... Sky Mike streaming? Nope. No. Nope. Remember he's at work. Yeah, he works. Right. Yeah. He's at work. Yep, yep, yep. Damn, but there ain't really too many people to stream uh to drop this off What's at. And say so I got Tokyo son, but he's part of King Cast Network. I don't know who that is. He's playing Pokemon Legends if you want. Raid him. Just raid him. You do the raid, bitch. You do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Since you're, since you're so hype, you know what I'm saying? You do it. I mean, uh, you're the one I was talking about um, po uh, Pokemon er earlier. Yeah, but that's hashtag 4K60 on PC. So oh, Here we go. <laughs> right. Yikes. Imagine it on Steam Deck. Super yikes. Uh, so. We get ready for that. We get ready for people to drop 600 bucks. I'm ready, and that's even more yikes. So <laughs> I just don't, I just don't want people to be fucking. I just want the copium to be out there. You know what I'm saying? Like I just I just want it. I want uh, hashtag PC. Damn, I can't believe Junker put that there. That made my shit hard. So you know, <laughs> we just gotta we gotta we gotta get hashtag PCs out there, man. If you want to game, right? Which they criticized me for in the beginning. You gotta get you a PC. That's just. I didn't criticize you. I never. Big Mike, don't utter, don't fucking utter, I say never, you never, I never, don't, I never, don't I never even like fuck it. I never Hold on, and now I'm about to, now I'm about to, now I'm about to drag you, Big Mike, because, because, because I'm, I'm getting ready, I'm getting ready to pull up, because you know, because you know I'm straight. No, no, fuck that shit. No, fuck that shit. No, fuck that shit. No, fuck that shit. No, fuck that. No, oh, y'all some bullshit. Y'all fucking up. Love y'all. Fuck y'all. Love y'all. All right, all right. <laughs> 